Hey, what's up guys, it's Ethan. So today I wanted to make a video dedicated to the GOAT, Michael Jordan. Last week I was watching The Last Dance, great documentary on MJ if you guys have never checked it out. It's really cool, it's a really awesome, neat documentary about Michael Jordan, the Bulls, and the NBA. So it was a really cool documentary, but one thing that I will talk about Jordan is that his mindset, his mentality has really helped me out a lot in my life. Just that winner mindset that he, that he had, that go-getter mentality, that resilient mindset that he had really helped me out a lot. One thing that I could think of in particular was that he never, lo he never let losses define him. Uh, MJ has that really popular quote about uh, losing and how he talked about how, you know, he's, you know, him losing is what made him a winner, you know, learning from his losses. You know, one thing they talk about in The Last Dance is when he talks about when he got cut from the high school varsity basketball team. A lot of people are like, man, Michael Jordan got cut from the basketball team. Yeah, he did. His sophomore year, he got cut from the varsity team. He didn't even make the varsity team his uh, sophomore year. He went back, talked to his mom. His mom is like, hey, if you want this bad enough, you got to go put in the work. And that's what he did. He ended up working his butt off all summer long. He ended up going back his junior year, making the team and becoming one of the best high school players in uh, the country. He ended up going, uh, playing out in North Carolina, ended up becoming one of the very best uh, college players to ever play at that college, and one of the best in the country. And then obviously, you know, um, the rest is history. Uh, I really loved his um, competitiveness, his drive. He loved to compete. Uh, he wanted to go out there and he wanted to win, and uh, he did whatever it took to win. You know, one thing I admired about Jordan too is he always pushed everyone around him to be better. You know, some of his uh, his uh, his teammates kind of talked about that he was kind of an a-hole, but they pushed him to be better. You know, like Jordan was like, you know, going to make you better. You know, if you weren't going to step up to his level, you were going to step down. Jordan was going to push you to be better and become the best version of yourself. And he did that to everyone around him. And uh, Jordan really worked hard. You know, he had a worth ethic, you know, and he was very disciplined and dedicated to his craft. And all these things that Jordan did were very inspirational to me in my life. To be disciplined in what I do, to have that winner mindset, uh, to not let my losses define me, to learn from my losses, to push people around me to be better, and uh, just overall become a better person, you know, like uh, learn from my mistakes and uh, keep pushing to be better every day. And uh, don't settle for mediocrity, settle for greatness. You know, one thing that Tim Grover uh, talks about in Relentless is he talks about how Jordan always had championships on his mind. You know, he he wasn't average. He wasn't thinking, oh, let's make it to the playoffs. Let's win a few games. He was like, no, let's go win the championship. And then when he won a championship, he was already thinking of the next one. That's why the Chicago Bulls were able to do the first three-peat ever to win three championships consecutively three years in a row because Jordan loved to win. Jordan was like, man, I want these I want these rings. I want these championships. And that's one thing I admired about Jordan and I implement into my game. You achieve one thing, you give yourself some credit, you know, you're like, all right, cool. You know, maybe Jordan, he, uh, you know, partied, you know, maybe smoked some cigars or whatever. But then he's like, it's time for some more championships. And uh, that is like the way I think of my mindset. It's like, okay, well, you win. You're like, all right, cool, cool. But there's more to achieve. There's always more to achieve. Uh, you can never be satisfied. You know, that really popular Kobe video, job's not finished. And uh, that is one thing that I've always admired about Jordan is that winning mentality and that resilient mindset that he had. And we could all implement that into our lives. But anyways, though, I'm out here at the boxing gym uh, today about to get a workout in. One thing I'm going to mention to you guys is I'm going to be uploading on this channel way more often. So I'm going to be uploading some training videos for you guys here pretty soon. Maybe one thing I had uh, in particular tomorrow was to do a, a, work, a workout video, training video, uh, some boxing video, some conditioning, stuff like that. And I'm going to be making some content um, as well, some other content. But anyways, though, guys, if you guys are new to this channel, help help me get to a thousand subscribers. I would greatly appreciate it. And if you guys can share the video, that would mean a lot to me. But anyways, though, that is a wrap for the video. One thing I would say is if you guys like this video, make sure to watch The Last Dance uh, on Netflix. It's a really cool documentary about Jordan and the Bulls and the NBA. And if you guys want to read kind of more into Jordan's mindset, there's a really awesome book out there called Relentless by Tim Grover. It's actually a kind of a short book. It's not that uh, long. So it's a really like short read and it's really good. It's very educational. Uh, Tim Grover also trained Kobe Bryant and other legendary NBA athletes as well on their mentalities. And he was also a sports trainer, uh, like a, like a dream trainer. But anyways, though, 
if you guys enjoy that, make sure to read that book and that will tell you more than what I told you guys. But anyways, though, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to subscribe and I'll be seeing you guys in the next video.